What is up, you guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Yes, I am MLB Chatterbox. Yes, you can see the title and the thumbnail. Yes, I'm MLB Chatterbox, your host. Well, not your host. I'm Christian Corey. That's my name, Christian Corey. But yes, this is the channel, MLB Chatterbox. I got my own logo, which is kind of cool. I do like the logo. I designed it myself. I didn't create it myself. I had a, you know, but cool logo. I think I like it. But yeah, this is what we're doing on MLB Chatterbox. What else but talk about baseball all day, every day. I mean, I'm talking everything baseball. We're talking news. We're talking discussions. We're talking debate. We're talking signings. We're talking Hall of Fame stuff. We're talking anything and everything that has to do with baseball, professional baseball. Even, I'm not a big college baseball guy, but I can be a big college baseball guy. If that's what you guys want to see, college baseball, you know, it's college baseball, you know, hey. But yeah, everything and anything professional baseball is going to be on this channel, MLB Chatterbox. And uh, yeah, but also just want to address, yes, there are a bunch of hats behind me. And I got, hope you guys like the setup because I love hats. I love Major League Baseball hats. I always love their hats. And yes, I know you'll say, well, that's not the real Padres hat. I know. I know, it's 2020, they got a different hat. I know what it looks like. They went to the old school throwback Browns, but I do have, I do have a 19, not, well not, I don't think it's that year, but 1998 San Diego Padres hat when Tony Gwynn was in the World Series against the Yankees. His only World Series, no, his second World Series, which is pretty cool. Love that hat. And uh, yes, I know, you can see the shirt. I'm a Tigers fan, address that too. I'm a Tigers fan. You can leave all the, all, all those comments in the, in the uh, comment section below. Yes, I know I'm a Tigers fan, but hey, we, could, we might make the postseason this year just because of the 60-game schedule. I'm just saying, when, you, when you're playing 60 games versus 162 games, that's a big difference. And that'll be interesting, too. Could a team like the Tigers make the playoffs this season? Could a team like the, I don't know, the White Sox or the Angels or the Mariners. Man, that would be cool if the Mariners were in the postseason. I mean, they haven't been there in a while. So that will be interesting to see too and see what the 60-game schedule, what kind of impact it will have on these teams that probably weren't expected to contend in 2020, but now due to the shortened season have a, I would say, legitimate shot of making the postseason so yeah that will be interesting too um like i said there's this one video i want to make on a hall of famer you guys might not like my opinion on it i don't know if i might make it i probably will but the, why this person should not be in the hall of fame and actually how do you measure someone making the hall of fame like what are the i mean obviously statistics is a given right but if you're talking about like Morals do morals count in, in 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 making the Hall of Fame? Does what you do off the field make an impact of how they view you as if you're a Hall of Famer or not? Because that would be interesting. Because if that's the case, then I think I think a lot of people should be out of the Hall of Fame. I'm just going to tell you one. Like for first Ty Cobb. I mean, I'm a Tigers fan. I Ty Cobb. Obviously, we know what his problem was. But that's interesting. Should morals matter? If morals don't matter, should Pete Rose be in the Hall of Fame? That's a that's a big discussion we'll talk about. But yeah, Hall of Fame, that would be a big, big discussion of how should the writers evaluate future Hall of Famers and Hall of Famers that frankly probably should be in the Hall of Fame and some that shouldn't be in the Hall of Fame, which will be interesting. Yeah, so that's basically kind of what I wanted to talk about in today's video, what you guys should expect from me what this channel offers. Uh, anything and everything baseball, like I said, I love baseball, love Major League Baseball. Uh, it should be interesting to see what's gonna happen. You know, a quick little thing, I know I just saw the uh, Field of Dreams game get changed due to the geographics of the schedule. Everybody's schedule got realigned due to de geographics. So the stop the spread of the coronavirus or stop or at least minimize the spread between cities and such. But I do, which I'm kind of happy that the Field of Dreams game is gonna be going on. I know, sorry Yankees fans, you're not gonna be in the Field of Dreams, I know. But White Sox fans, hey, you're there. And the Cardinals, they'll be taking the place at the Yankees. So that'll be a little interleague series at the uh, 
Field of Dreams location, that's a cool site to go to. I haven't been to that. I've been to the Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame's pretty cool. I like to go to uh, Field of Dreams, but yeah. That that will be interesting to see this summer and uh, and just see where all baseball kind of kind of falls. And if, if we're even to have baseball, it'll be interesting. A lot of players are testing positive for COVID, and a lot of these guys are either, I don't know if they, they're asymptomatic or they're not. That's a whole big discussion, too. But, yeah, it's going to be baseball, baseball, baseball on this channel. If you like baseball, professional baseball, you know, hit that sub button down below and leave a like on the video if you like, you know, first video. And also, quick thing, if the shadows, I'm just got a lot of light in here. It's, you know, it's pretty dark down here. But uh, if you guys think that uh, there's too many shadows, let me know in the comments. And, uh, yeah, would would appreciate the advice. And uh, what other things you want me to talk about on this channel? But, yeah, so that's cool. Oh, yeah, also one thing, I don't know if I mentioned it, but the uh, changing of the logos of the Indians and the Braves, my opinion on it real quick is I like the Indians logo and the Braves logo. Uh, I'll make a video on that specifically of logo changes and what teams should change. And there might be a little sarcasm in there just because There'll be a lot of teams that I think that should change your logo for many different reasons. Um, but yeah, we'll talk about that. That's a big discussion that's going on. Should the Indians change their logo? Should they not change their logo? I mean, they already got rid of Chief Wahoo, but just to name the Indians in general, what would they be changed to? Um, there's a lot of teams, if that happens, there's a lot of teams that I think not should do it, but there's a reason that someone can make a case of why they should do it. A lot of different teams. Uh, I didn't want to mention them right now just because I want to save it for that video. But yeah, click that thumbs up button if you like what you see. Hit that sub button. And hey, if you want to ring that bell, you can ring the bell too. I mean, hey, put the notifications on. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video.